Today we're gonna change the internal battery, which is a CR2330, uh, which keeps the Zaxcom Nova 1 or Nova 2, it keeps the time code clock going uh, in the background, even when you take power off of this, uh, it'll hold it for a while. So lately I've noticed that when I uh, power down at lunch, the uh, I'll turn it back on and the, the time of day will be wrong and basically the clock's not holding time anymore. So I think it's time to swap the battery out. My Nova is set up using the um, Audio Workbench Feather Rig, which is this uh, 3D printed sort of chassis that holds uh, an eSmart battery cup onto the top here, and it has like a little cell pouches that you can put things in. I just elected to use a dual lock to slap this on the top here as well as the, uh, the filter. So I have to take this all off and I'll show you how to do that. But basically it follows the same screws. It's these two screws here on the top, same here, and then the same thing on the bottom as well. And then once we get this off, we'll show you the next step. All right, that's the last of the small screws. One thing I'm probably gonna have to do here, especially because I have these bolted in, is I gotta remove these modules as well. I have two uh, MRX 414s installed, so you wanna pull these nice and steady and straight out because there's, come on, it's scary. Jeez, that wasn't easy. That one came out a lot easier. All right, so yeah, these uh, the headers line up with these pins inside, which I don't know if I have enough light to show you that, but there's some long pins in there that you do not want to bend. If you've never opened the Nova up before, it's kind of like a taco shell, like here. And then if you hold onto the front of it, it should just kind of slide off like that. Okay, so the battery that we're trying to swap out lives right there. I'm gonna try to just reach in with some needle nose and give it a little lift, oh, and it comes right out. Perfect, so that's our old one. And just for my own sanity, I'm gonna measure the voltage on this battery, because I'm curious, you know, if it actually is failing or if it's something else. So, we'll set my multimeter to DC. Yeah, about 2.8, so. These batteries new, I think, are actually closer to a little more than three. They, they're listed as a three volt battery. And let's open up the new one. And before we put this in, I wanna measure this new one too, just to see what a new one comes in at. I think that's probably useful information for this video. Like when I think these batteries cost like $7 for uh, like a three pack or a five pack. Oh. Can't see yeah, so here you go. So this is coming in at, uh, yeah, 3.24. I'm gonna so. try to install this most of the way with my fingers. The trick is to get it under that metal clip on the top there, so coming in at an angle, like, kind of lifting the back of it up like this. And once I know it's under that tab, I'm just gonna pop it down. There it goes. Nice and snug. So that's pretty easy to get that in and out. The real issue is just Opening the Nova up is like, you know, most of the work here, so. All right, so we'll put it all back together and uh, hopefully it'll start holding time. Let's see. I'm gonna put some power on this and just see what it shows for a message. Sometimes it'll say the, uh, the clock chip is not running, but hopefully this new battery solved it. Let's see what it does. Okay, yeah, before when the, um, the battery wasn't working, you'd get this red text on, on the boot up that would say clock chip is not running, something like that. We'll go into our uh, time of day, which you can set here. Uh, yeah, look, it, re it reset the time because I pulled that battery out, so we're back to the year 2000 here. We'll get this uh, closer to where we are now. I think it's March something, March 22, I think. And I don't know. Oh, I'm using my phone to record, so I don't know what time it is. Uh, we'll ballpark it. I think it's like 11 a.m. And then if you hit jam the date and jam time, it'll pull the time of day. And there we go. And we should be back in business. So that's it. That's how you, uh, that's how you change your battery in a Nova 1 or 2.